Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out how you can install a loading screen for 5M and we're going to go over how you disable the 5PD loading screen to use your own. Now please note that I've gone through a bunch of these resources. There are thousands of loading screen resources. This is not the one you have to use. I'm just using this one as it seems to be very commonly used and very um commonly reviewed and stuff as one of the good ones so you can obviously use any of the loading screens you want there are thousands of them this i don't like have a favorite out of any of them this is just the one i found so just wanted to make that clear but in order to get this started and everything we're first going to go ahead and deactivate the 5m loading screen so you'll go or 5pd loading screen you'll go to your resources folder go down to your 5pd folder and inside of here you're going to find the underscore underscore resource lula file edit this with notepad or notepad plus plus and then in here you'll see load screen and then it will give this little um, load screen index. All you have to do is delete this one line that says load screen. And then go ahead and save the file and you no longer have the 5PD loading screen. It's that easy to disable it, which a lot of people think it's a lot harder, but it's that easy to disable it. That's all you have to do with 5PD if you haven't installed. I only wanted to go over that because I know a lot of people watching have that. If you don't, if you completely ignore that step, no problem. All right, so what this loading screen lets you do is it lets you enable a solid uh, color back with RGB colors so you can change the colors to your wishing use bold for text server titles you can even add audio rules all of that good stuff and here's an example of kind of what it looks like it does look quite cool so you can see 35,000 views a lot of people have seen this and use this resource so when you join the server it looks like this you are joining insert server name it has this cool loading bar your rules to connect with us content stuff like that so let's go over how to install this so what you're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and download it first of all so to get the download we're just going to go up to the github page up here and then it will open a new page here and you'll go over to where it says releases on the right hand side and just click the latest release and download the source code zip this will just download the loading screen itself then all you have to do is once it downloads open it with winrar 7zip winzip whatever you use to open it up and then inside this first folder you'll see a thing that says loading screen this is what we're going to need to use but you can see there's also a, a resource underscore lula in here and a loading screen page without one so this is actually a little bit different than our last resource install so if you go back to the overview page it's going to tell you the exact name of the folder you need to create so you're going to go ahead and right click and copy this go into our resources folder and we're going to create a new folder with exactly that name it has to be exactly that name or it will not work so please make sure to keep the folder name this inside of this folder you're going to drag both the loading screen folder and the resource under underscore underscore resource .lula file into that folder that's all you have to do to install it now we're just going to go back to our server data edit the server.cfg file and add ensure that folder name that we just created and make sure it's exactly this you can get that from the resource page here it will give you that exact um, name now how do you configure this there's a nice documentation here on how you configure it but we'll go into the resources and go into that folder we created into the loading screen and into the config.json file to edit it this is where you can set do you want to use a solid background color what are the rgb colors of this you can look up rgb editor to come customize the color to your liking should there be a background image you add the background images under the image tab and you can change this to your liking as well should it use text color what's your server name so i'm just going to name this bghd development youtube is my server name should it play audio what's the youtube audio id i'm going to toggle this to false so i don't get a copyright claim you can uh, set your video volume as well you get um you can set your rules so do not a you can just literally add as many as you as these want as you want here to add more you just add a comma and then add a next line and make it like rule eight subscribe or something um i don't know you can figure that out to your liking you can add different servers like your website team speak ip discord server etc you can create your like um information about the server what do you have in the server so you can create like character customization and all of that and then you just go ahead and save this file and start up your 5m server and then you can go ahead and log in and check it out so i'm going to go open 5m and we'll be in momentarily all right so i've gone ahead and joined our server and you can see it is all set up here so we have all of our rules we have our info we got the loading screen you got the name of the server you got the connect with us stuff all of this is here and set up so great to see this all working if you have questions i guarantee the resource author will probably answer them so just leave a comment on that thread where you downloaded the resource um, i actually really like the background to this loading screen it looks really cool so 
Um, I may use it myself in the future, but overall, um, there's thousands of these out there. Pick the one that works for you, um, and hopefully you do know how to create custom loading screens and disable the 5PD one now. So, um, if you have any questions, obviously, ask them on the resource page. If you have suggestions for other 5M videos and 5PD videos, leave them down in the comments. Um, I will see you tomorrow. We're going to be doing a lot of 5PD content and 5M content this week, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. See you soon.